Hi everybody, this is Mirko Henskin and I would like to welcome you to our second tutorial about AutoWait. This time I'm going to show you the new features of version 0.055 and I won't explain all those features that you've probably already seen in the last tutorial, so I'm just going through the new features explaining how you can add them to your AutoWait workflow. So therefore I've just set up a very simple character and I just start auto wait right now. You can see it has become a bit larger this time and there are new tools like here and obviously here but I will explain them in a couple of seconds. So just start by deleting all existing regions if there were some. Like in the prior version, it is possible to create regions by elements, but uh, in this case we just have one element, so it's a little bit nonsense. Uh, but there's a new feature, creating regions by bones. That means that the algorithm takes the closest bone to a face and puts the face in a new region. And if you execute it, it looks like this. Alright, so I'm just making the right side one whole region to show you the next new function which is the mirror function and it works in three dimensions, so in one at a time and you just have to select the appropriate polygons you want to mirror in this case I want to mirror all regions on this side to this side so I have to put in the radio button for X which is already selected and then just hit the mirror function and you can see that all polygons I've selected become mirrored on the other side and create a new region. If you just uh, let's say we have this as a single region and this one as well then you just need to select a couple of regions you want to mirror on the other side so let's say this one is a whole region and then you just hit mirror and it creates a symmetric region for you. Now I will explain to you the skin weights tab and therefore I have to set up all regions for this character. I will skip this part because I guess you already know how you can do that. Before we set up all regions and the bone setup, I'm just showing you another little feature which might be useful because if you uh, close auto weight, you would have to re-select all those regions. In this case, just restart it and select all polygons and just hit the setup button. Then you get this little message and everything is cool again. So now uh, we have to calculate all the regions with auto find bones on and as we can see it worked out pretty well and now I will come to this new tab so you still know how to use the transition value and as I change the transition value you will notice that this transition fallout curve um, changes as well if you want to use the transition falloff curve you just need to select one dot and move it around and then you can alter the curve. Let's say we make the transition value 2, so which means that two um, edge loops are included in the calculation and just hit add skin modifier alright normally the transition value at transition 1 is 0 0.5 which I will show you now as you can see here the apps effect of this point is 0 0.5 for the bone pelvis and for the next transition value the next point would be 0 0.25 to alter this just drag the first knot and move it to for example 0 
And if I recalculate the skin weights again, then I get 0 0.75 for this point. What you can also do is add more transitions as well and for example alter the curve by dragging the dot on this side or alter the curve by uh, changing the curve via um, dragging the tangents and now our um, our curve will be pretty steep so the first transition value would be 0 0.5 maybe the second one would be 0 0.4 but the third one would be immediately reduced to 0 0.2 for me a transition value of 3 with this kind of curve is enough so let's calculate the skin weights Alright, I would like you to thank you for watching this tutorial and as usual if you have any questions or if you have any ideas for an improvement then drop me a line and I will get in contact with you and see what I can do. Thank you very much.